Okay guys, so as I said in my last video, I've been having these problems with my GoPro where it's recording but then the file corrupts for absolutely no reason, I haven't really found out, but this is one example, I'm recording right now, but it didn't for some reason, the, the file corrupted for some reason, so I'm using uh, the camera that my dad was using, and right now I'm just explaining what the video was all about, so basically this is the pit bike versus Grom video, I will go into more detail, don't worry, uh, I, re -try, I try it all over again, so don't worry, but uh, in this section of the video, me and my dad have a race, I'm on the pit bike, he's on the Grom, and we see who can win. Wish I could have showed you, but these are the problems some motor vloggers have, and it seems to be my fucking time. So, let's get this race underway. Can you do me a favour? Start the bike. The one back it off the Grom, it's done electric. I decided to come back out on the Grom into my little location that I use to finish off this video because you've obviously saw and I've explained what happened when I tried filming this video before. It was pouring down, like massively pouring down, it was horrible. Uh, and my camera just decided not to work with her. I've already done a video on card up there if you haven't seen it, it's just warning you because I have this problem. Meh. Don't worry, I'm not going to stand in front of the camera all day. We'll get on the bad boy. It poured down again, yes, last night. Because that's UK weather for you. So all this is like slippy as hell. So we're going to try and have some fun with it anyway. But I won't be blasting. And it's Sunday morning. And it's really quiet. So <laughs> I won't be blasting around. But we'll talk about what's better, the pit bike or a Grom. Which one's better? All right. I'm going to have to lower my visor up. Oh, I've also fixed the uh, the vibration GoPro thingy. So it doesn't vibrate anymore, so yeah. The difference between the GoPro the GoPro? <laughs> the difference I will have some fun, we're just gonna start off right riding real slow. Just so I can uh, talk to you guys and think and try and use my brain cells. Brain cell, sorry, I only have one. So the first thing you'll notice when you get onto a pit bike, any kind of pit bike, that's like obviously I'm using mine as an example, but I've been on a, quite a few in my day. The first thing you'll notice is the pit bike, hello phone, the pit bike feels cheap, like, stolen, that's nice. You can tell that the Grom's just much better made than the pit bike, but obviously you are paying a lot more, like, you can pick up brand new pit bikes, mine's a 125, you can pick up them from about, like brand new, 600, 700 quid, this I bought for two grand, so... Um, obviously you're paying for what you get, like, 
this is a lot better made. Part wise, there's a lot more parts you. Hello, looks like a bump. <laughs> Mod wise, they're pretty much exactly the same. You get handlebars, rental bars, everything for a pit bike it's as well as you can for a Grom. Obviously, you can get dirt tyres for uh, for the Grom, but like my Grom. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I've got a, a big wheel conversion kit for my, my pit bike, which when I sell it, I'll be selling it with that, so you know, if you're interested. And I've also got something to show you as well, because you can make them road legal pit bikes, and you can buy them road legal as well, so that's why I decided to make this video, because they're both like mini bikes, they're exactly the same, but which one's better? So obviously you can get those, like I've got big wheel conversion, knobby kit for a pit bike, and they are bait. Pit bikes are basically made for off-roading, like a Grom's not really made for off-roading there. More of a street bike than a pit bike. So if you want to do a lot of off-roading, if you want to do a lot of off-roading, then I would probably go for a pit bike. But uh for comfort, street as well as you know, a little bit of off-roading, uh, off off-roading and exploring. It was kind of, I tried mixing the two words together. <laughs> no, 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 well, I am going to get off for a little bit. And I just think the Grom's a little bit more stylish as well. I'm not going to lie. Pit bikes are cheap. They're a bit of fun. But if you want to properly go for it on-road and, you know, a little bit of exploring, the Grom all the way. You're paying a little bit extra, obviously. But they're so much more fun and they look more better than a like a road legal pit bike gearing's better they don't break down as lot they're easier to start most of the time obviously you can get fancy ones with starter motors and electric starts and whatever but then you might as well get a grom yeah so let's go over here a sec I'll grab my bag so when i first bought the pit bike i was actually going to make it road legal like a like a grom i'm going to move my camera real quick so it's pointing at the grom do, 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 That was like really like uh, 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 choppy, but yeah. So I wanted to make it road legal. I needed paperwork and everything like that. So if you're gonna probably make a pit bike road legal, in my opinion, I would buy one road legal. It's just a lot fucking easier, less hassle, and they go for about a thousand plus, really, for one two five one. So you know, um, yeah. So I got. And, like, I put this on the, the pit bike and it does all work. Like, this whole wiring loom, battery, horn, headlight, which I quite like that headlight. I think that looks quite cool. Imagine it on the Grom. I think it would look pretty dope. I put that all on the pit bike and it was pretty deep. Deep? Decent, I was trying to say then. I can't speak today. It was all kind of decent, like, but it was so much work to get all that done. I was like, I couldn't be masked with it. So I kept the electric start and everything. Not the electric start, sorry, the key start. Key ignition thingy but that was pretty much it that's all i kept and just kept it as a dirt bike really because that's really what it's made for is the dirt it's not really comfortable on the road you might as well get a proper dirt, 125 dirt bike that goes on the road and then for a mini bike you might as well go for the grom they're better made they just look a lot better and that's pretty much it so in my opinion i'd go for the grom i know this isn't i'm, I'm never good at these review type videos but i just go for the Grom, okay? Don't go for a pit bike. They're too much hassle. They're a bit... Meh. Basically, it's more about of how they're made, and the Grom is just a million times better. Right, time to have some fun and do a lot of skidding. You ready, Ewok? We're going to have some fun. <laughs> oh, it's soaking wet. Don't slip. <laughs> oh, I hit a peg. Oopsie.
<laughs> I'll show you the track. I'll show you the track that I went up to get to here as well. <laughs> it was just mud. But this is just the track that I went through on the left hand side. I don't phone, I'm getting messages. <laughs> it was just my tire was spinning, I had to just like push it. <laughs> look, <laughs> look how muddy it is. You can see just where my tire is just like. survive today if you've enjoyed the video guys please i beg you i beg you please please i'm getting really wet knees please as i was saying hopefully my gopro doesn't kill that kill that footage now because i will cry please 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 but if you enjoyed the video hit the thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one yes baby <laughs>